Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, more the e absolute inequalities that involving two modulus, right? The two modulus which have modulus both sides. You have modulus both sides. So for this case, you can't apply the formula for uh, basic definition, right? Basic definition. Basic definition, you have modulus of x greater equal a. Do you remember this? Uh, so you have 1 greater or 1 less than negative a. So if, if you have less than a, uh, then you have x, you just reverse everything. This one become n, and this one become greater than, right? So, okay, this formula can't apply for this case. You have to remember when you see there are two modulus both sides. Ah, for this case, I'm going to use the method of squaring both sides. Alright, so you have to understand this. Uh, modulus of x uh, equals to, uh, <coughs> for example, modulus of x is the same as the square root of x square, right? Square root of x square. So if you go and square, if you square the modulus, this is this this is actually the same as you square the square root of the x square, right? You square. So the square root will become uh, square root together with square, you eliminate, become x to the power of 2, right? Uh, to become x to the power of 2. So the same thing here. Okay, for the first video about this example, I will detail a bit about actually the x plus 5 square. Uh, I can rewrite this modulus. Another writing of modulus is square root of x plus 5 square. So greater than square root of 3x plus 3 to the power of 2, right? Uh, so, if we want to get rid of the square root, I have to do squaring both sides. That's why we apply the method of squaring both sides, right? If you square of the square root, it will have x plus 5 to the power of 2. I have to remind you again, we only apply squaring both sides if there are modulus on both sides, all right? Uh, because if you see the base definition, they are only modulus of one side. The other got no modulus, right? So this base definition, this formula, we can't apply to this case, okay? So now, then we have greater than, if we square, we have 3x plus 3 to the power of 2, right? So as usual, you have to expand the quadratic. You have to expand the quadratic. Uh, become x to the power of 2 plus bit, 10x. 25 greater than 9x to the power of 2, 18x plus 9. So you have a quadratic. So I, I, I'm moving, uh, I make it one side 0. I want to make this side 0. So 9x squared minus x squared, you have 8x to the power of 2. 18x, 18x minus 10x, you have positive 8x. 9 minus 25, you have negative 16, right? You have negative 16. So I rewrite, it will become x to 8, 8x squared plus with 8x minus with 16. Can you see the arrow pointing here? So it's pointing this way, less than 0. So, okay, become a quadratic inequality, right? Uh, very simple for, but, uh, if you have modulus both sides, you just do squaring both sides and you will get a quadratic inequality. So, okay, then you divide everything by 8, simplify, it becomes x squared minus with 2, less than 0. So, and as usual, you factorize. You factorize. Alright. <coughs> and you have x, x, 1 and 2, positive and negative, right? Negative x plus 2x, you have positive x. So, you're using graphical approach. Graphical approach. So you have uh, negative 2, negative 2, and 1. So not include, they are not equal here, not include the negative 2 and 2. So empty circles, right? empty circles. And is, is it the curve below the x-axis or the curve above the x-axis? If less than 0, means that the curve below the x-axis. So which is the uh, region? The solution is x is between 
negative 2 and 1. So this will be your solution for this case. Right? So you can always check whether your solution is correct or not. If you have plenty of time, right, you want to study what is meant by the solution for this inequality. This is an extra uh, knowledge for you where your, you can check and you can choose any number between here. You can choose, z, uh, I think, 0, right? 0. 0 is between this. So if you put 0, 0, uh, you will get 5, right? Uh, greater than 3. Yes, it's true, right? It's true. Or you put uh, another value, you can choose a uh, negative 1, right? Negative 1 is inside here also. So you choose negative 1. Negative 1 plus 5. And 3 times negative 1 plus 3. This way you have 4. 4 is greater than uh, 0. Yes, it's still true, right? So it means other value than not in the range is uh, is not accepted by this inequality, right? So I think that's the uh, this is the way how you uh, solve the case where the absolute inequality have both sides modulus, all right?